Hello guys, welcome to my channel HVI Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss about how we can enter text into a text box using JavaScript executor. So generally in Selenium WebDriver, if you want to enter any text into a text box, we are going to use a send keys method, right? So the Selenium WebDriver has one method that is send keys. So using that method, we can enter the text into a text box. But on some text boxes, this send keys method will not work. So in those scenarios, we can take the help of JavaScript. Okay. So using JavaScript also, we can enter the text into a text box. So in this video, we will see how we will do that. Okay. So let me open my Eclipse. Here I have one class file that is JS executor demo. So this class file I will use for practice today. So here I have added the code to launch the Chrome browser and it will navigate to Facebook login page. So after this, we will perform the JavaScript operations. So generally, if you want to enter any text into a text box in Selenium WebDriver, we write this command, right? Driver dot find element, then send keys. So using the send keys method, we will perform the operations, right? So before the send keys, we will find out the element. So if you have the element, then only you can perform the operations. I mean, anything like entering the text or click operation, any operation. So the first thing is we need to find out the element. So the same concept will be in applicable in the JavaScript also, but we have another option. So in the Selenium WebDriver, we find the element also in the Selenium WebDriver and we perform the send keys operation also from Selenium WebDriver itself. But in the JavaScript, we have two options. One is finding the element in the JavaScript itself and entering the text also in the JavaScript itself. Okay. So you will perform complete operation in the JavaScript only. You will find the element and enter the text in the JavaScript only. And the second option is you can find the element from WebDriver and enter the text using JavaScript. Like this, you can write this statement to find out the element. And once you find that element, you can use that element and use the JavaScript to enter the text. So first let's see how we can actually find the element and enter the text in the JavaScript. Then we will see the second one. Okay. So let me open the Chrome. So here I have Facebook login page. Okay. So I'll just press F12. So I want to enter the text into this email text box. Okay. So let me first inspect this. So this email text box has one ID that is email. Okay. So in Selenium, for example, if you want to find out any element, we have many locators, right? By using ID, name, class name, like that we can find out. We have around eight locators, right? So in the JavaScript also, for example, if you want to find out any element, we have some methods. Okay. So here, if you want to test the JavaScript inside browser itself, just click on the console in the developer tools. You can go to the console and here you can start writing the JavaScript code. Okay. So first let me clear this. So in Selenium WebDriver, if you want to find out any element, you will use find element method, right? And that too, you will use on top of driver instance here. We don't have any driver. Okay. So all we are dealing with HTML DOM. So here the DOM is called as document. Okay. So document dot get element. So when you type get element, you will see all the methods applicable. Okay. So we have around five methods, get elements by name, get element by ID, get element by class name, get element by tag name, get element by tag name namespace. Okay. So here only one method get element by ID. This is the only method which can retrieve you one single element. Okay. You can see get element by ID and the remaining things get elements by name, get elements by class name, get elements by tag name. So these all are returning list of elements. Okay. So luckily here we have a single ID, right? So we have the unique ID. So that is the reason we can use get element by ID method. Okay. So for example, if you don't have the ID, in that case, only you have name or some class or something. Okay. So in that case, how you will do, you can write an X path or you can take this method, get elements by name or get elements by class name. And from that element, you can use the index and get the value. Okay. So now I will show you how to do that also. First, let me use the get element by name by ID. So here inside this, I will pass the ID. The ID is email, right? So let me just put the semicolon. So when you press enter, so here you can see it is returning me the element, right? So we found the element and when you focus on this, it is highlighting in the web page here. So that means we are able to identify and here it is returning only one element. 
so now i'll just use the get element by name okay so for that first i need to know the name so the name also email only okay so document dot get elements by name okay so this will be same this concept will be same for all the remaining things also whatever is having get elements the same concept okay get elements by name and here i will pass the name okay so when you press enter it will retrieve your node list that means a list of web elements okay so when you expand this you can see we have only one element inside this node list so you can use the index to get the first element from this node list okay so the same one and here if you put the index it will give you only one single element okay so you can do something like this or you can write the xpath but here we don't have a method for writing xpath right document dot get element by xpath is not available so how you can write that so to find the element using xpath we need to use evaluate method here okay so inside this you need to pass the xpath okay so if you don't know what the syntax of evaluate you can simply search in the google document dot evaluate okay you can open the first link so here it says first you need to provide the xpath expression then context node namespace resolver result type and result so for example for this i will use the xpath also so let me just write the xpath first this is an input field and id is email okay so i did not close okay so now this is the xpath right so by using this xpath also i will show you how to find the element so here the first thing is we need to pass the xpath expression okay so the xpath expression is nothing but xpath so xpath is passed then the next one is context node here the tooltip also showing you okay the context node is from where you want to actually find out this one so here we want to find the element in the entire document right so i will pass document then if you want to pass any resolver any namespace resolver you can pass that okay so generally for finding any element you don't need to pass any resolver so you can just give null then type so you need to pass the result type so here if you see anything it will be like this xpath result dot any type or something like this okay so result types are this many available okay so here i will use this one first ordered node type a result set containing the first node in the document that matches the expression that is what we want right so out of the complete dom whatever is matching to that xpath expression that we want to retrieve so i will use this i'll copy and we need to use something like this xpath result dot then we need to provide that value xpath result dot this one comma the next argument is you can provide any result okay so i'll just give null so if you use that here it is giving me xpath result but it is not giving me element right so if you see in single node value we have the element actually okay when i expand this you can see so here we have something called single node so inside the single node value we have the element so i will use that one okay so the same xpath i mean the same statement here dot single node okay so now you can see it is giving me element this time right so this is how you have to use the xpath so let me just copy the same into this one okay so if you want to use the xpath this is the syntax okay so the other things are direct only document dot get element by id because i have the id so i will use that only the id is email okay so now the element identification is completed that means this part is completed right so the next is entering the text so to enter the text we have value okay 
So whatever the text box we have in that we want to enter some text for that I need to write something like this dot value equal in this you need to pass the value what you want to enter okay so I will say abcd at gmail.com okay so now actually nothing is entered in the email text box so now I will just press enter here in the text box you can see the text is entered right so basically if you want to retrieve the value you can simply use this one okay if you want to set the value you have to set it here like this okay so now I will use this one in the code and I will execute it okay so now you understand right how to find the element and enter the text till here we are finding the element then this portion this one we are trying to set the value okay so let me go here so if you want to perform any javascript related actions from selenium web driver we need to use javascript executor so this javascript executor is a interface okay if you want to know more about this javascript executor like what is this javascript executor and how we can use it and why we need to use it you can click on this link to watch my previous video in that i have explained everything very clearly okay so now i'll just create the javascript executor reference js in that i will use the execute script method okay so here i need to pass the script so when i copy paste it will give me like this so you can remove that okay and you can put a single quotes here because we already in the double quotes right so it is not accepting the double quotes and you can remove the semicolon also that is not mandatory okay. so here you no need to pass any arguments this statement doesn't require any argument right so you can just remove these arguments so now let me just execute this so it should open the Facebook login page and it should enter this value abcd at gmail.com okay. so let's see the browser is open and it entered the text also right so this is how you have to enter the text using JavaScript so that's about first method okay the first way we find the element using JavaScript and we enter the text also using JavaScript now we'll see the second one finding the element using web driver and entering the text using javascript okay so for that i'll just comment this okay so first we need to find the element using web driver right so here i will write web element i'll store that element into one variable okay driver dot find element by id okay so the id is email so this will do the element identification right so we can identify the element and store it into this element so now i will use this element okay here i am trying to find the element using driver web driver okay then i will perform the actions using javascript so for that js.executescript i will write something like this arguments of zero dot the same way value equal whatever the value that you need to pass i will say abcd at gmail.com okay so here okay let me just put another double quotes okay so here i am saying arguments of zero so that means I need to pass the arguments okay so in my previous one I am not passing any arguments but in this one I need to pass the argument so here the argument is this element okay so I'll just pass this one arguments of zero that means the first argument you can pass the multiple arguments like this here but in this query I mean in this JavaScript we need only one argument okay so now it will enter the text into this element okay so let me just run this chrome browser is open you can see the text is entered okay so let me just close this okay 
so now we entered the text but how we will get the text okay so we have entered the text into this text box and now we want to print this text in the console okay let me just comment this so for that i will write js dot execute script so here let me just copy the complete code okay till here as i said if you want to retrieve the value you need to use only till value okay and no need of arguments just close this one so here we are retrieving the value right so i will say return okay if you are retrieving any value you can say return so basically this execute script will return you object in the dom i mean document object model so this one we call it as dom right document object model so here every element will be treated as a object we are saying document object model right so every element is a object so even though it is returning you this element i mean this text that will be in the form of object only okay so that you need to convert again into string string i will say text so here i will do the casting okay so now i will print this text in the console after printing i will just quit the browser so here to print the text basically we need to enter the text right so i will use this one okay so now let me run this now you can see it entered the text and it printed the text also in the console okay we did not see that because just in the fraction of second executed it okay so this is how we work with text boxes from the javascript okay so i hope you enjoy this session if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching bye bye